Good morning, Kingdom. Welcome back. I'm on my morning walk today. And I want to tell you today that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. And more importantly, God loves you. And today I want to talk to you. I want for you to know that you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself more than you love the narcissist. It's a crazy, deranged, strange love, but I know that you love this person. You love this person because you see the best in them. You love this person because you see potential in them. You love this person because you know that if they put their mind, soul, and body and heart into changing, that they can. But this is not about them today. This is about you. This is about you taking your power back. This is about you doing things differently. This is about you deciding that you love yourself. In one of my videos, I talk about unconditional love. You have to love yourself unconditionally. No matter what you look like. No matter how you sound. No matter what you've been through. You have to love yourself unconditionally today. Today is a new day. Thank God for today. Thank God for this new beginning today. Today is better than any other day because it's the present. So I need for you to know that I love you, that God loves you, and you've got to love yourself unconditionally. Because when you love yourself unconditionally, you will only accept unconditional love. And that is not what you're getting. You deserve the best. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy. You deserve peace. You deserve tranquility. Look at this water. Look how peaceful it is. Look how common it is. That is where we need your life to be. That if there is any thing going on, it's only about happiness and joy and listening to good music, praising God, loving God, Enjoying whatever kind of music you play, that you get up and dance and sing to it. Enjoy life. We've got to get you in a place where you are loving yourself more than you love them. We got to get you into a place where you love your children more than you love them. What do I have to do? to help you to get to that journey that you love yourself unconditionally the way God loves you. Today is a new day. You cannot change what happened yesterday. But what you can do is you can learn from yesterday. You can grow from yesterday and you can decide today to make a change. Make a change to be better. Make a, ch a change to do better. Make a change to love yourself unconditionally. Make a change to grow closer to God. There's no other better, sweeter place to be 
than to be in his loving arms. You have to love yourself more than you love the narcissist because they don't love you. Because if they loved you, they wouldn't disrespect you. They wouldn't play games. They wouldn't manipulate and control you and gaslight you and triangulate you and love bomb you to trick you and all the other things that go along with their sick, demented games that they play, the mind games that they play with you. They're playing a game with you. It's, it's funny to them. It's hilarious to them. They're the stand-up the comedian, and you're the audience, and you're the joke of the day. They're the hecklers. They point you out in a crowd, and they find every fault in you. And they make everyone else laugh at you because they enjoy it. That's their job. So kingdom, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. This is where I want every one of my kingdom family. I want everyone to live in this moment right now. And what we are seeing, which is a calmness, which is, is a peacefulness that no money in this world can buy. So I need you to make a decision that today is the day that you are going to love yourself unconditionally and that you are gonna give all of your burdens, all of your worries, all of your doubts, all of your self-doubts, you're going to give it to God. And he's going to take care of that. That's not your job. Your job is to thank him. Your job is to be obedient. Your job is to love him and to tell everyone that you come in contact with how amazing, how wonderful, how magnificent, omnipotent, the majesty that you serve, that's your job. And his job is to carry your burdens. Cast them on him, cast them on the water. So kingdom, today is the day that you decide that you are to love yourself unconditionally. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be a blessing. How you are going to get blessed. And you're not doing it for this purpose. But it feels so good. When you bless others. You can give someone an encouraging word. You can give someone love. You can give someone a smile. You can give them a compliment. Those are all blessings. If you're standing in line and you see someone paying with change and you have it, even if you don't have it, you have just enough, but you got a little bit extra, help that person out. Believe me, trust me, that when God sees you doing that, <laughs> you know, he's gonna bless you tenfold, a hundredfold for sacrificing and giving and doing to others. So kingdom, I love you. I want for you to love yourself unconditionally. I want for you to grow closer to God. And I want you to get up every day and be thankful for today. Because today is a blessing. Again, I love you. <clears throat> Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that you have a day that is filled with abundance with love, with m m many blessings, peace and happiness. Have a blessed day.